In this video, we will talk about trigonometric functions of quadrantal angles. We will start by reviewing the six trigonometric functions. And here we have an angle in quadrant 1 whose terminal side passes through the point x, y. If from this point we draw a perpendicular down to the x-axis, then we form a right triangle with the sides x, y and the hypotenuse r. Then sine of theta is y over r, cosine of theta is x over r, and tangent of theta is y over x. Also, cosecant of theta is the reciprocal of sine, and it is r over y. Secant of theta is the reciprocal of cosine, and it is r over x. And cotangent of theta is the reciprocal of tangent, and it is x over y. Now let's talk about quadrantal angles. A quadrantal angle is an angle in standard position whose terminal side lies on the x-axis or on the y-axis. So if for this angle the terminal side lies in quadrant 1, with quadrantal angles the terminal side will be either on the x-axis or on the y-axis. Now let's see an example of a quadrantal angle whose terminal side lies on the positive x-axis. So here we have the rectangular coordinate system and we will start by drawing the initial side of this angle and remember that an angle in standard position has the vertex at the origin of the rectangular coordinate system and the initial side on the positive x-axis. And now we also want the terminal side to be on the positive x-axis. The measure of such an angle could be 0 degrees or 360 degrees or 720 degrees as well as negative 360 or negative 720 and so on. Now let the terminal side have a point with the coordinates x and y. Then the distance from the origin to this point is r. And now to define the six trigonometric functions, first we need to understand that the y-coordinate of this point is 0 and x is the same as r. For example, if this point has the coordinates 1, 0, then r is equal to 1. So as a note, let's write that for a quadrantal angle whose terminal side is on the positive x-axis, y equals 0 and x is the same as r. Now to define sine of this angle, and let's call this angle angle theta, we know that by definition sine is y over r, and because y is 0, 0 divided by r is 0. So if this angle for example is 0 degrees, then here in the table below we have that sine of 0 degrees is 0. Now cosine of theta by definition is x over r. And because x is the same as r, when we divide them we will get 1. So in this table below we have that cosine of 0 equals 1. Next tangent of theta by definition is y divided by x. And because here y is 0, 0 divided by x is 0. So here we have the tangent of 0 degrees is 0. Now let's talk about cosecant, secant and cotangent. Cosecant by definition is r divided by y. And because y is 0, division by 0 is undefined. So here in this table we have that cosecant of 0 is undefined. Now secant of theta is r divided by x. And because r and x are the same, when we divide them we get 1. So we can say that secant of 0 degrees equals 1. And now cotangent of theta by definition is x divided by y, and because y is 0, x divided by 0 is undefined. Then here we have that cotangent of 0 degrees is undefined. Now let's discuss the case when the terminal side is on the positive y-axis. 
So here we have the rectangular coordinate system and on the positive x-axis we will draw the initial side. Then the terminal side will be on the y-axis. And if from the initial side we move counterclockwise, then this angle will measure 90 degrees. Now on the terminal side, let's choose a point with the coordinates x and y. The distance from the origin to this point will be r. And now we need to understand that because this point is on the y-axis, the x-coordinate is 0 and y is equal to r. So let's write that x equals 0 and y equals r. And as an example, if this point has the coordinates 0, 1, then this r also equals 1. And now let's talk about the values of all six trigonometric functions of this angle. Sine of this angle, and we can call it theta, by definition is y over r. And in this case, because y is the same as r, when we divide them, we get 1. So here in this table below, sine of 90 degrees equals 1. Now cosine of theta, by definition is x divided by r, and because x is 0, 0 divided by r will be 0. So here in this table, we see that cosine of 90 degrees is 0. Now tangent of theta, by definition, is y divided by x. And in this case, x is 0, and y divided by 0 is undefined. So tangent of 90 degrees is undefined. Now let's discuss the other three trigonometric functions. We will start with cosecant, and cosecant of theta is r over y. And because r is the same as y, the value of cosecant is 1. Secant of theta is r over x. And because x is 0, r divided by 0 is undefined. And we see that in this table cosecant is 1 and secant is undefined. Now the last trigonometric function is cotangent and by definition cotangent is x divided by y and because x is 0, 0 divided by y is 0. And indeed here we see that cotangent of 90 degrees is 0. Next, we will discuss the cases when a quadrantal angle lies on the negative x-axis or on the negative y-axis. So here we already talked about these two cases and now we will discuss these two. In this case, the terminal side of a quadrantal angle lies on the negative x-axis. So here we have the rectangular coordinate system and we will draw the initial side on the positive x-axis and the terminal side on the negative x-axis. If from the initial side we move counterclockwise, then this angle will measure 180 degrees. Now let's have a point on the terminal side with the coordinates x and y. And the distance from the origin to this point is r. Then here we need to understand that the x-coordinate of this point is negative and the y-coordinate is 0. For example, this point could have the coordinates negative 1 and 0. Now, if x is negative 1, then r has to be positive 1 because r represents the distance between these two points and r is always positive. So, let's write that r equals 1. So what we have in this case is that y is 0 and r is opposite of x, which we can write as negative x. Now to make it simple, when we will define the six trigonometric functions, we can just use these numbers 1, negative 1, and 0. So let's start with sine of theta. By definition, that is y divided by r, and because y is 0, 0 divided by r is 0. So in the table below, we have that sine of 180 degrees is 0. Now let's continue with cosine of theta. 
by definition this is x divided by r and we know that here they are opposites if x is negative 1 then r is positive 1. If I replace x with negative 1 and r with positive 1 then negative divided by positive is negative so the answer will be negative 1. And here we have that cosine of 180 degrees is negative 1. Next we will have tangent of theta and this is y divided by x and because y is 0, 0 divided by x is 0. So tangent of 180 degrees is 0. Now let's continue with cosecant, secant and cotangent. Cosecant of theta is r over y and because y is 0, r divided by 0 is undefined. So here below, cosecant of 180 degrees is undefined. Secant of theta is r divided by x, and r and x are opposites, so if r is 1, x is negative 1, and 1 divided by negative 1 is negative 1. So secant of 180 degrees is negative 1. Now cotangent of theta is x divided by y. Then because y is 0, x divided by 0 is undefined. So cotangent of 180 degrees is undefined. And now let's discuss the last case where a quadrantal angle has the terminal side lying on the negative y-axis. So in this rectangular coordinate system we will have the initial side on the positive x-axis and the terminal side on the negative y-axis. And if from the initial side we move counterclockwise then the measure of this angle will be 270 degrees. And we need to understand that in all these cases there are multiple angles that can be formed with the same initial side and the same terminal side. So if we move counterclockwise this would be 270 degrees but if we move clockwise that would be negative 90 degrees. Also if we move counterclockwise one full rotation and another 270 degrees then 360 plus 270 would be 630 degrees. In this table I just consider the angle of 270 degrees. So let's start with having a point on the terminal side with the coordinates x and y. Then the distance from the origin to this point will be r. Now here the x coordinate of this point is 0 and the y coordinate is negative. For example, x is 0 and y can be negative 1. Then the value of r will be positive 1 because r represents the distance from the origin to this point. So what we have for this case is that x is 0 and r is opposite of y. And again this means that if y is negative 1 then r is positive 1. Now let's determine the values of the six trigonometric functions for this angle. Sine of theta by definition is y over r and we know that y and r are opposites and if y is negative 1 then r is positive 1 then negative 1 divided by positive 1 is negative 1. So sine of 270 degrees is negative 1. Next, cosine of theta is x divided by r, and because x is 0, 0 divided by r is 0. So cosine of 270 degrees is 0. Next, tangent of theta is y divided by x, and because x is 0, then y divided by 0 is undefined. So tangent of 270 degrees is undefined. Next we will evaluate cosecant, secant and cotangent. Cosecant of theta is r divided by y and when r is 1, y is negative 1 
and 1 divided by negative 1 is negative 1. So cosecant of 270 degrees is negative 1. Secant of theta is r over x. And because here x is 0, then r divided by 0 is undefined. Then secant of 270 degrees is undefined. And now at last we will evaluate the cotangent. And cotangent by definition is x over y. And here because x is 0, 0 divided by y is 0. So then cotangent of 270 degrees is 0. I hope you found this video useful. Please subscribe, leave a comment and thank you for watching.